Candy Riley is an American painter born in L.A. in 1977. Today, he's most known for his beautifully colored portraits of the African-American community in heroic and oftentimes famous poses. Kahindi Wiley got his Bachelor's of Fine Arts from the San Francisco Art Institute and his Master of Fine Arts at the Yale University School of Art. His earlier work is photorealistic portraits of people he met on the streets with his signature floral background. When we think of Wiley today, we think of pop culture mixed with classical elements. And much of his work is influenced from portraiture, frescoes, African textile designs, urban fashion, and hip hop. His images have transformed over the years. He has started using larger canvases and using different people, like young African American models and famous music icons. I would love to talk about all the paintings done by Wiley, but I thought I would focus on a personal favorite of mine Judith and Holofernes, 2012. This painting hits close to home because it was recently purchased by our very own North Carolina Museum of Art in Raleigh in 2012. This piece by Wiley is based off the original painting by Artemisia Gentileschi. Gentileschi has many visual versions of this story, but she always portrays the ending where Judith is victorious over Holofernes and slays him. The story is Judith is a Jewish widow of Bethulia, which is being surrounded by the Assyrian army. Judith ultimately cons her way across enemy lines to eventually behead the general of the army, Holofernes. Now let's take a look at Kahendi Wiley's version of Judith and Holofernes. It is pretty obvious what is going on. You have a strong African-American woman standing tall after she has beheaded a white woman with a very energetic floral background. This image now portrays a tone of anger, anger with society during this time. When this painting came to the North Carolina Museum of Art in Raleigh, it caused many complaints, saying it's a threat and it's racist. This piece was only supposed to challenge white supremacy and racism and hate towards the black communities, not to anyone specifically. I find this piece so fascinating because both versions of this heroic act are painted by oppressed groups, where Artemisia, a woman, painted in the Italian Baroque period where it was predominantly male painters, and Kahindi is a black artist thriving in an art scene typically dominated by white men. The reason why I love Kahindi Wiley's work and believe it is so important is because he references the past using images of today to discuss important things of the future. Since portraiture is historically about who we choose to honor, Kahindi's portraits challenge our conventional views of power and privilege.